What's that? The recording might have been a hoax. But when Tendo and the Omi searched the family office, they found... something else that was very interesting. Simply put, it's a list of shady characters who are on the Arakawa family payroll. Is it? Apparently, not long after the Kamrocho 3K plan started, Masumi Arakawa transferred a total of 300 million yen to various officials in public roles. Shame he was killed the other day, huh? You know, I think he could have explained in detail what all these obvious bribes were about. But at least we have this list here which shows exactly into whose hands each yen landed. That's right. The whole list is here. It was all on Captain Sawashiro's computer. Great news for us, don't you think? <clears throat> What's up? Oh, you're looking kind of pale, Commissioner. Is something wrong? Masumi Arakawa's 300 mil took crazy complicated routes through a bunch of foreign bank accounts. Eventually found its way to you and other high-ranking officers. I know it was all in exchange for turning a blind eye toward the Omi Alliance activities in Kamrocho. But for real, I gotta hand it to Arakawa for hiding the flow of this money so well, but lucky for us, this list makes it pretty clear. So, all we need is some supporting evidence. And then the arrests from this little guy are gonna knock out dozens of top officials, including you, police commissioner. Arrest this man! Confiscate whatever you find on him! What's wrong? Those are my orders! Struggle all you want. It's too late now. You moron. I already sent this to the Inspector General at Police HQ. That's right. Toss the same thing over to the media so your time's running out. Tick tock, Commissioner. You're bluffing. This whole scheme wouldn't benefit you at all. You'd be just as poor afterward as you are now. No, this isn't a bluff, unfortunately for you. It's a victory for me. Commissioner, the Inspector General is eager to have a word with you. What? I'm sure you didn't take the money purely for personal gain. You had a duty to protect the peace in Kamrocho. After the Tojo clan disappeared, you had no choice but to allow the Omi to take over and stabilize the area. In that sense, you might have even felt you were justified in taking the bribe because of the position you were in. I feel for you. You were caught between a rock and a hard place, weren't you? But, on the other hand, sir... What? What a coincidence that doing the right thing for the city also happened to line your own pockets. How much was it exactly? One mil? Ten mil? Even more? Well, I'm sure we'll find out once we analyze the data. You handed out bribe money to avoid taking responsibility for the city's crime rate. Plus, you even got to skim some for yourself. People who have so much always want more. <clears throat> Why don't you just admit you did it to save your own damn skin? Just like the old days, eh, Horinouchi? Bastard. You know, I've been waiting for years to see exactly that look on your face. This is a trap! A conspiracy! I won't stand for it! Let go of me! I order you to let go of me! Oh yeah! Mind if I ask you one more thing? Do you remember New Year's Eve 18 years ago? There was this rude Yakuza who cock-blocked you from your own wife at a hostess club in Kamrocho. What did you say? <sighs> Never mind.
Ichiban. Joe Sawashiro received his sentence. He got life in prison. Yeah. In fact, I was just telling the boss all about how everything shook out. It's just tragic. Masato Arakawa died without ever knowing Sawashiro was his father. And Masami Arakawa died without ever knowing what happened at the lockers that night. And that you were his real son. Hmm. A DNA test? Yeah. Why not? It's the only way to prove once and for all if Arakawa really was your dad. Don't you want to know for sure? Otherwise, you're gonna have doubts for the rest of your life. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd want to know. Not me, man. The way I see it, I have two dads. Huh? My fathers are Jiro Kasuga, owner of Shangri-La, and Masumi Arakawa. It doesn't matter which one I'm related to by blood. Nothing can change the fact that they both raised me and made me who I am today. I don't need a test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something, man. Huh? There you are. What are you guys doing in here? The services are starting. Let's go say goodbye to the Arakawas. All right, let's go. Kasuga, good to see you. Likewise. I heard about what you've been up to. You started a security company in Sotenbori. Yeah, that's right. We had to do something for all the guys who had their rugs swept out from under them. Their yak is in the wind. I saw it all coming, so I wanted to give them somewhere to go. Originally, harakawa san was supposed to help us put the whole plan in motion. Yeah. I heard something about that. Well, what's your next move, Kasuga? You with us? Yeah, sounds like your dad had some unfinished business. Why don't you come to Osaka and wrap this up for him? <laughs> I think hell just froze over. The mad dog of Shimano is giving perfectly reasonable advice. Don't get used to it. Today's an exception. Tomorrow it's back to balls out. <sighs> I appreciate the invitation. But I can't. Eugene Cho is my home. Looking back on it, in Kamrocho I was drifting all by myself. But here in this town, I found my people, and nothing can replace them. You see, I owe them, and I need to pay them all back for what they did for me. Eugene Show and Sotenbori should be places where people can go when they're lost. Safe havens when there's nowhere left to turn. So you see, <laughs> I can take care of the boss's unfinished business right where I am now. That's my plan anyway. I 
I get it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. guys doing here? Well, Namba here was all worried about you. He thought the ex-Tojo guys might be looking to snatch you up, Kasuga-kun. Hey, I said to keep that shit on the down low. So? What'd you say to those old thugs? You gonna leave town and forget all about us little guys? Uh, Zachan, how about you tell him? I can't say all that mushy shit again while I'm sober. <sighs> well... <laughs> wow, I didn't think he loved us that much. Did he say it just like that? How cute. Sounds like the Kasuga-san I know. Finally. <laughs> I've gotten to a point in my life where I can't be replaced. What an honor. Hey, <laughs> as long as I'm in there, he's got good taste. <laughs> you're at rock bottom, the only place to go is up. There's no shame in being at the bottom. All that matters is how you decide to climb back out of the darkness. There's always a ray of hope up there. I was lucky to learn that from you, young master. Mm -hmm.